So a few months ago, I launched a meme coin for a video to show you guys the entire process of creating, launching, and running a meme coin project. That video went pretty viral and is now my most viewed video on my entire channel and the number one Solana token creation video guide on YouTube. But a lot has changed since I created that video back in March. It feels like a lifetime ago. So I feel like it's my duty to give you guys an updated version on how to launch your token. The good news is launching your token now is so much easier and costs a fraction of what it used to cost. Now, I believe we haven't even seen the true meme coin bull run that will come this fall and winter if the stars align hopefully so the opportunity is still there and right now is the time to take advantage of it before we see the next big run but if you're watching this video you probably already know all of this so in today's video i'm going to walk you through the entire updated process of creating and launching your own token here are some of the steps that we're going to cover creating your token from idea to fruition launching your liquidity pool, essentially making your token live and tradable by anybody, and burning liquidity tokens to show locked liquidity, which is essentially the green flag that everyone looks for before they buy your token. After these steps, your token is officially live, ready to be traded by anybody, and on Dex Screener and Dex Tools and all those other websites. All right, step number one, creating your token. The first thing we're going to do is head to oriontools.io. That's the website we're going to use to create our tokens. I forgot to mention there is zero coding required. This is a no code guide. I'm going to make it as simple and easy to follow for you guys as possible. All right, so I'm signed into my Phantom Wallet right here. All I need to do is click on Select Wallet, Phantom Wallet. Bring this down a little bit right here. Click on Connect, and we have connected our wallet to the website, and we can begin creating our token. So you can see right here, it's pretty straightforward. We've got name, symbol, decimals, image, supply, description. They also have a how-to guide, which helps. And below that, they have a frequently asked question section, which also helps. So we're going to get started. For this video, I'm going to make a token called Potato. Let's call this potato coin. Now the symbol of your token is the ticker symbol, just like stocks have ticker symbols, Amazon, A-M-Z-N, Shopify, S-H-O-P, same thing goes for your token. So the symbol is going to be potato. There we go, decimals, we're going to do nine decimals. Recommend that for everybody. Supply, we're going to do one billion tokens right here. All right, we have our image right here. I recommend you do a square logo. And then the last thing we need to do is write a description. Just a silly little potato, lol. All right, you can do your description however you want. It really doesn't matter. There really is no right or wrong way to do your description. It really just depends on what you want it to be. Now down here, let me explain these things. Revoke freeze is already selected. It's required. You need to revoke freeze authority of your token if you want to create a liquidity pool, which is what we're going to do next. And what we're going to do is also select revoke mint. And what revoking mint authority does is it makes sure that the token creator cannot dilute the token supply by printing a billion or a trillion new tokens and just dumping it on the market. Buyers don't want to see that the token creator can just mint more tokens. So if you're serious about launching your token, you definitely need to have both of these checked off. So this all looks good. You've got potato coin, potato symbol, nine decimals. We've got our image right here, one billion supply, and on our description, just a little silly potato. We're ready to go ahead and click on create token. Transaction confirmation, a pop-up will happen in about two or three seconds. Now this is a summary of your transaction. It's going to cost you about 0.7 Solana to create your token. And you'll see right here, you'll receive 1 billion unknown tokens in return. It says unknown because your token isn't created yet, but once the transaction is complete, that unknown token will become potato coin and you'll have 1 billion potato coins in your wallet. So this looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. Transaction confirmation, it's gonna take a couple of seconds once again. Transaction confirmed. Let's go ahead and click on our phantom wallet. We've been charged 0.7 Solana. And you can see right here on our wallet, if we scroll down, we have 1 billion potato coin in our wallet, all ready to go. Now that our token is created successfully, we're ready to move on to the next step, which is launching the liquidity pool for your token, essentially making your token live and tradable by anybody. Now this part used to cost a couple hundred dollars in fees, but Radium has updated their platform and it now costs almost nothing saving you a couple hundred bucks. So let's go on over to radium.io and get started. By the way, I'll have all of these important links in the description of this video to make it nice and easy for you all to follow. All right, we are here on radium.io. This is our new V3 platform. You can see right here, welcome to V3. The old V2 site is what we used to do to launch tokens. That was the expensive version. Now it is much easier. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on connect wallet, click my phantom wallet, and connect my YouTube subscribe wallet to radium. Subscribe if you haven't. Once we've connected our wallet, let's go over to liquidity right here on the top left and then click on create. Now you have a couple of options, creating a pool, a concentrated liquidity pool, a standard AMM pool or a farm. We're going to use standard AMM. Almost every token in existence uses a standard AMM pool. So we're going to use that and then click on continue. Now here is the fun part. Pay attention because I don't want you guys to miss anything here. This is all really important. So we have our token right here in our wallet. I'm going to click that click on more, view on soul scan. So this is our token address right here, potato coin, copy that. You can click this as well and you can see potato coin, 1 billion supply, 
all the information on SoulScan, and we have our token address right here. So I'm gonna copy that and then go back to Radium. And right here, instead of Solana, we're going to go here, click on that and paste our token address. Down below, it'll ask you to put in your symbol and your name. Symbol is potato and our name is potato coin. And then we're going to click on add user token. Potato coin right there, you can see our balance is 1 billion. It'll populate automatically. And then let's just go ahead and click on that. And we have our potato coin up top. Notice there isn't a logo right now. It takes a little while after you create your token for Radium to acknowledge it. So don't worry about that if your token logo isn't there. As long as it's in your phantom wallet, you're good to go. If I scroll down here, I see my potato in my wallet. I got a billion of them, all good. Now your quote token is what we're going to use to buy and sell the token. So almost every token uses Solana. So we're gonna go over here and change Radium to Solana. Now is the important part deciding how much of your token supply you want to add for your liquidity pool. I recommend doing at least 95% of your supply. People keep five to 10% of their supply for marketing, giveaways, central exchange listings, any kind of partnerships, any kind of collaborations, all that fun stuff to have a little bit for the team just to be prepared for those kind of situations. So for this video, because I'm not going to actually do anything with Potato Coin, I'm simply just launching it to show you guys how it's done. I'm gonna do 100% of the supply. I don't need to keep any for myself. So I'm going to do max. 1 billion supply right there. Now this part is equally as important. The amount of Solana we add as our initial liquidity pool determines the initial price of our token. If you're serious about launching your meme coin, I recommend at least 10 sol as a starting liquidity pool. Any less than that, you're really just not giving yourself enough liquidity to thrive. The more liquidity you have, the better your token looks. Nobody wants to see a token with a million dollar market cap and $20,000 worth of liquidity it does not look good. The more liquidity you have, once again, the better your token looks. So I recommend at least 10 Solana if you're getting started. I launched my liquidity pool for Hemi with 10 Solana. For this video, because I'm simply showing you guys how it's done, I'm going to launch this token with almost no liquidity, meaning that it can barely be traded. Yes, you could technically buy and sell this, but not with any substantial amount of money. If I do 0.01 liquidity the pool is pretty much going to be so small that they can't really buy and sell so that's what i'm going to do for this video just because this coin is for educational purposes and i'm not going to actually do anything with this coin but i'm going to say it one last time just to clarify if you're actually launching a token do at least five to ten soul now the initial price does say zero and it's not actually zero it's so small of a number that it's just going to say zero because i'm adding almost no liquidity but if i was to do let's just say 100 soul or a thousand soul our price now is much higher. Now let's move down here to the fee tier section. This is new. This is part of the new Radium V3 website and was not part of the original token creation guide that I created. This is a new feature. One of the reasons why I'm making this video, the fee tier structure goes from 0.25%, a quarter of a percent to 4%. Now, I would never recommend 4%, 2%, 1%. I would always do 0.25%. When somebody buys and sells your token, a quarter of 1%, not much at all, is going to be charged as a fee that will go back to the liquidity pool or the liquidity pool provider. Since we're going to burn our liquidity pool tokens after this step to secure our token even more, all those fees are going to go straight towards the liquidity pool, essentially making the liquidity pool bigger. It's gonna just feed the liquidity pool. And then a small, small, small fraction of that, I think 0.03% of the 0.25% goes towards radium. But all the rest goes towards your liquidity pool and makes your liquidity pool bigger, makes it better, healthier. So always, always, always do 0.25%. You don't want people getting charged 4% of every single transaction trying to buy your token. That's so much money, that is way too much always do 0.25%. And then below that, if you want to schedule a time to launch your token, you can do that. I'd say if you're ready to launch it, just click initialize liquidity pool and start. Now keep in mind, once you launch your token, once you click on initialize liquidity pool, your token is live. People can buy it and people can sell it. I'm gonna have another link in the description to Dex Screener New Pairs page, which is right here. Where is it? All of these tokens right here are brand new tokens that have liquidity pools launched for them within the last 15 minutes or so. You can see right here two minutes ago, six minutes ago, all of these are new tokens being introduced to the market. Once we launch our liquidity pool and our token is officially launched, it'll pop up right here and that's how we can confirm it. I've got 100% of my tokens. I'm not doing 95%. I'm doing 100% for this video. I'm making the liquidity pool very, very small. My fee tier is 0.25%, a quarter of a percent. It's the lowest we can possibly do. We're using the AMM pool. It all looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and click on initialize liquidity pool. There we go. And here is a summary of your transaction. You can see right here, a pool creation fee of 0.2 sol is required for all pools. It is no longer 2.7 or 2.9, something crazy. It is one tenth of that, a fraction of that. You're gonna get charged 0.2 sol plus the sol you're going to use as your liquidity pool. So if you're doing 10 sol as recommended, it's going to be 10.2 sol. Now you see below this, you're going to trade all of your potato coins for these tokens right here, these unknown tokens. This is basically a receipt showing that you 
are the liquidity pool provider. I'm gonna give Radium all of my tokens to create the liquidity pool, and then they're gonna give me back a receipt of these tokens showing you are the owner of those liquidity pool tokens. You are the creator of that pool. Here is your receipt. These are the tokens, this 3,162. These are the tokens we're going to burn after this to lock our liquidity pool. I'll explain that in a second. We're going to give 1 billion potato coins. We're going to get our LP tokens back. All looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm, and we're gonna launch our token. Confirm. Now this does take about a minute or so. Here we go, pool created successfully. Boom, right here, and this is our AMM ID. This is the ID of our pool. I'd copy this if I were you. There we go. Now if we go over here to our new pairs tab, any second now we're going to see our new token up here, right here above Riley Reed. We can also click on our phantom wallet. You'll see that we were charged the point to Solana. And we now have 3,162 of our LP tokens, which shows up as unknown token. All right, here we are, potato coin. It is already up 789%. Uh, because people are buying it immediately off the get-go, but they can't buy much because I made the liquidity pool so small. And there you have it. We've launched our coin successfully. Now what we need to do right here is burn our liquidity to lock our liquidity pool. We're going to go over to Soul Incinerator. Once again, I'll leave this link in the description, make it nice and easy for you. Connect our wallet, Phantom Wallet, connect YouTube, subscribe. We're gonna go over here, make sure you're on the pro version. The light version won't show it. Pro version shows LP tokens. Click on that and you'll see right here your Radium LP tokens. Boom, click on that, and then click on Confirm Burns. And confirm once again. And then confirm one last time. And we're going to lose all of our LP tokens, making our liquidity pool locked. This is irreversible, but absolutely necessary if you're serious about launching your token. That 10 soul we put in cannot come back out. It is there forever once we burn these liquidity pool tokens, and you'll see that. So burn time, there you go. Sent burn for transaction, waiting for it to be complete. Burn complete. And we have officially burned our liquidity pool tokens, meaning our liquidity pool is now 100% locked and safe and secure. So going over back to Dex Screener, let's refresh this. It might take a minute or so. Our tokens already have 3,000%, market cap $180. And there you go. Now it shows this little green lock showing our liquidity is 100% locked. There you have it, potato coin up 13,000%. Guys, that is how you launch a token. Now, if you want to see exactly how I create my Telegram groups, set them up, update my Dex Screener and Dex Tools page, create my website, create my social media, I know Twitter account, Instagram, all that fun stuff. I've got all of that already filmed, but the method is still the same. So there's no point in giving you an updated version on that. I will leave a link to that video in the description below or in the corner of this video. The first half of that video covers all of that, including Telegram bots and everything else in there. So feel free to check that video out. But this is how you create a token with the new updated Radium V3 version and with the new updated Orion Tools website. I wish you all the best of luck. I wish you nothing but success. I hope your token reaches a $100 million market cap if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out anyway, please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. We really appreciate that. Thank you for watching to the end. Once again, good luck on your meme coin adventures. I'll see you in the next video. Hand me dev out. Take care.